hey y'all what's up so it's your girl sunray coming at you guys with a beautiful prophetic word this prophetic word is going to resonate with a lot of people um because it for sure definitely resonated in my spirit um when god spoke to me this morning um he was speaking to me about a lot of different things but this was one thing he was really addressing so i have a rhetorical question for you rhetorical meaning a question that i'm going to ask but you guys don't necessarily have to answer right now so um are you giving god your best that's literally what it translates into are you giving god your best so we're going to be coming from the book of proverbs um chapter 3 verse 9 so it says in the new living translation i don't know i was gonna say i don't know why that card park right there okay but it says honor the lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce okay so honor the lord with your wealth now that's a whole nother conversation i'm not gonna make that the focus of this video but when god is saying honor him with your wealth the things that it is that you have attained, the assets that you have, you are to use your wealth, your status to further the kingdom, okay? Like God does not make us prosperous. God does not give us money so that we can just live lavish lives, right? He, he does this so that we can become channels, fluid channels for other people to be able to get um, the vision that God has placed in them. Because the issue is, in the church now i'm going on a rant real quick the issue is is that we have a lot of these like pastors of like these mega churches and stuff that have all of this money that they get from like their own stuff which is cool but the money that they actually get from like ties and offering which is a lot they are not using that to help further god's kingdom so you could be somebody going to this person's church, tithing, sewing, doing all the stuff that you're supposed to do, you know, as a diligent Christian, and God has given you a vision. But most of y'all say, I got a vision somewhere, I got a business idea, but I do not have the funds. And then you have this, so we already have this disproportionate amount of wealth in the world. Least economically developed countries, LEDCs, or people called third world countries, or you have MEDCs, most economically developed countries, which is a country like us, okay, the United States. Um, and so we already have a disproportion or a disparity in the wealth, right, that's uh, dispersed. But also, too, now that you look at the churches, that's the same thing. Like, in um, corporations, it's always like a disproportionate distribution of the wealth, right? And so that's kind of what that talks about but as god continues educating me on finances i am going to educate you all because we are learning together okay but that's not the focus of this video the focus is and he says and with the best part of everything you produce so everything that you produce now back in the day you know produce literally meant like produce like when you make i don't know let's say you made some carrots and you would not take to God the carrots that are your skinniest carrots that may not be very orange. We know the orange ones have more carotene in it, right? So those are better. Those are more vibrant, right? Whatnot, right? You wouldn't keep what the heck? Okay. You wouldn't keep those ones for yourself. You would give the best of your fruit the best of your produce to god right and so that's the same exact thing that god is saying in today's world whatever it is that you produce you have to give them the best and i felt convicted in my spirit a little bit because i was like dang god you did get on me about being a little bit more uniform with my videos like my editing and whatnot and so i was like oh god i just want to get the word out but i'm not giving him my best you know y'all think it's great like the word's great but it's not the best that I can give, right? And right now, obviously, you know, my stuff is all in boxes. So until I figure that situation get figured out, God working with me. But y'all know I always like to use myself as an example because I'm not perfect. Like we all learning. Like, look, I got stains on my shirt and I'm just not realizing it. I'm not perfect. Okay. But guess what? The shirt still vibrate. Okay. The, the shirt still vibrant. Period. But um yeah i wanted to use me as an example and i like to do that because i like to show y'all that we all are trying to learn this journey but whatever it is you want to give god the best so when you wake up in the morning you don't want to give god 
praise after you just got frustrated reading the email or seeing the text message. That's why it's so important to not search, go on social media when you first wake up, but instead praise God. Just say, thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, God, while your mind is clear, while your heart is clear. Because we know as soon as you pick that phone up, Tyrone from the laundromat done text you, hey, girl, how you doing today? And Bella from whatever, why are you messing with Tyrone? And you just, you, you get what I'm saying? Now you're like, God, God, I love you, but look, you know, it's not the best of your, your day. I'm being real funny, but I pray that y'all are able to see past the jokes and really understand exactly what it is I'm trying to say. Is I just want to know, and God wants to know, are you giving him your best? And, you know, take this with God. Like, literally, y'all, my prayers are always conversations. Like, I sit and I talk to God, and I'm getting better with listening, you know, because I talk too much. But, you know, sometimes you just have to sit and just talk with him and just say, like, you know what, God? Like, I just want to know, am I giving you the best? And if I'm not giving you the best that I have to offer, God, in what areas can I do better? Because as soon as I read the scripture, the only thing I thought about was like my tutoring business, which I've been slacking on, but Lord, that's a whole nother story. And then this ministry and knowing I could do so much more, you know, right now my hands are kind of tied until things are finalized, but hey, I know what the game plan is and it's because God has revealed it to me. So I just want y'all to make sure, hey y'all. Hey, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so y'all I talk to everybody I love it like and that's another thing one thing that God has really been showing me the last few days is really stepping outside of yourself stepping outside of your own situation to be a light and be an encouragement to somebody else like y'all do not realize how focusing on in on making someone else encouraged and feel better that really makes you feel better I know it's counterintuitive but if you just focus on yourself you're gonna be all upset you're gonna be all up in your feelings you get what I'm saying so Whew, I don't know why y'all. I just keep seeing crab legs in my head, Lord. I had seen a post about some crab legs earlier, and I'm just like, uh, and I'm trying not to get none. So we're not going to talk about that, because I know people are going to be like, oh, you shouldn't be eating seafood and blah, blah, blah. Hey, we all on our own journey here. But um, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, at the end of the day, just go to God in prayer and just ask him, like, you know, where can I be giving you better? Like, some of y'all might be like, dang, Sun Ray. How you know that Tyrone be texting me early in the morning and be upsetting me before I talk to God? Like, because we here, sis. I know. I know what that's like. I used to have some Tyrones in my life. <laughs> Y'all, oh my gosh, I'm so funny. I really am like, God, you really made me a comedian. People used to laugh at me. Now they laugh with me. Like, do y'all see how God was just transforming? But anywho, um, yes, I pray that this prophetic word blesses you. Please take it to God because we all have something that we could be doing better. Everybody. I don't care who you is, who you are. We all have something that we could be doing better or producing better for God. What is it? That's what you say to him in prayer. So I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.